Hey Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna get into your reading, but why did I just hear in my head so loud? Flex, time to flex. Y'all remember that reggae song? <laughs> what y'all got going on that that came through as I'm starting your reading? That's why I'm laughing. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so Sagittarius placements. <laughs> Take what resonates for the reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Take what's yours, leave the rest for someone else, and flip it if you need to. Could be someone around you I'm picking up on. Could also be past, present, or future energy. What y'all got going on? Flex. I do have flex. Okay, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Messages for... Uh-oh, wait. Look, reparenting yourself came out. That's because I'm being immature. Spirit, like, grow up, girl. Do this read with some, with some maturity. Okay. Not make it up. You can't make it up. Sexuality, trust, intimacy, love, friendship, soul, spiritual bond, not just physical, established connection first. Okay, so spirit is saying, listen to your intuition here. Cancer could also be a Taurus. Okay, doing things in a conventional way, trusting your intuition, high priestess, hierophant, you know, like that, that, um, that high level connection, that high level soulmate connection, a spiritual connection, a very deep connection. But I'm telling you, somebody want to hear sex. Because I'm telling you, I kept hearing that song and then this card came out. I tell you. <laughs> you know, all my life I used to be like, God, why did you give me this gift? Like, why am I so different from everybody around me where I see things, I hear things, I experience things that nobody else does? Like, what, what's What's this all about, God? I'm not a gambler. Like I used to like dream the lottery numbers. I still do sometimes. And you know, I just give it to people around me. I tell them to go play the lottery number and you know they, they might break me off a couple of dollars. But <clears throat> I never understood why I had this. And now I do. I'm supposed to be doing this. Because flicks, time to ethics. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Let's get into your read. Karen energy for Sagittarius. A fair woman. So this might be the person that you're trying to flex with. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't want to take that because two came out. What is it that you don't see coming? Dogs. Getting together with friends. Okay. Your biggest challenge here. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> I watched a tarot reading the other day. And I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I watched a tarot reading the other day. And this lady, her reading was so spot on. It was so good. I don't remember her name. Not that I would mention it here anyway. Because I wouldn't want her to think I'm trying to insult her. She, she was re very good at what she did. She definitely picked up on my story. But um, <laughs> the way she shuffled her cards, I was like, yeah, she made me look like a pro. Because she, she was struggling with them cards. But the right cards were falling out. I said, she, she got the gift. Okay. <laughs> it says, your um, challenge is broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Your outcome is new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up and archway. Overall energy is horseshoe. Good luck. Okay. Now let's clarify. And then we're going to clarify with the, um, what is it? Tarot. Karen energy is a man. So some of you, you're in a, you know, heterosexual relationship. You got a fair woman and a man. Okay. <laughs> he might be older. Possibly Sagittarius. If you're the feminine, the masculine may be older. But you don't see coming. Getting together with friends with plenty of material things. Okay. Maybe somebody's birthday's coming up. Some kind of gift giving ceremony. I don't know. Challenge he has cobwebs. <laughs> Somebody might have cobwebs on their Gucci. <laughs> Licks. I'm telling you. Broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. It says protected from negative forces beyond your control. Hmm. Okay, so if something ended, it was meant to end. It was for your divine protection. What's the outcome here? New opportunities and pathways opening up. Oh, some of y'all about to move on to a younger woman. You are already with a woman. Now you're moving on to a younger woman. Horseshoe, a goal-oriented person. So some of y'all are achieving your goals here, okay? You are um, achieving your goals in love and in your career, I'm hearing. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy there. Could also be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be someone younger than you. A very ambitious person. 
Yeah, look, younger woman, very ambitious person that you're about to attract. Let's get into this and see why we got these cards and why this song is going to be. So somebody, it might be a younger person about to come in your life and put it on you and give you that pat back in your step. Because maybe I told you some of you could have been dealing with someone older. Why is fair woman here with a man as the parent energy? So some of you may be a man dealing with a light-skinned woman or you could be a light-skinned woman dealing with a man. <laughs> That sounds so silly. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Page of Swords. Ooh, see, I told you it's going to be a choice between two women and one is younger. The, the air sign, if you're dealing with an air sign, they might be younger. And then you could be dealing with a water sign who is, you know, closer in age to you or same age. The older person could be a water sign. The younger person could be an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Why are these coming out, though? Somebody could be watching you. They might be a bit guarded. You're stuck between two people. What does this say? Trust, intimacy, love, friendship, soul, spiritual bond, not just physical. Establish a connection first. So, okay. This is you using discernment and not letting your emotions control you, right? Right? But also, I do feel like there's a choice between two people. I feel like somebody's already connected, but they're watching somebody else. And it looks like the air sign, this is going in the wrong order, because it looks like the air sign person might be watching the water sign person. I mean, that you might be turning your back on an air sign person for a water sign person. But I feel like the air sign is the one that's younger. What is going on here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. What you don't see coming is getting together with your friends. Oh, plenty of material things. The Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Some of y'all about to get some kind of windfall of money. Some of y'all might be treating your friends because you've got some kind of like abundance coming in. You might get like a bonus at work or something like that. You're going to win some money or get some money or this is your business thriving or your career thriving. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is manifesting. Oh, Lord. God said, yes, that's right. <laughs> About to bless Sagittarius. Look, this is a gift from the universe. Money. Money. Na, 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 na. Money. Okay, what's to get getting together with friends? So some of you may be treating your friends. You may be celebrating something, a new job, new car, new home. Um, some kind of new opportunity here. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a very enterprising woman. Magnetic, attractive, confident, well-liked. A lot of energy here. That's you, Sagittarius. Leo, every Sagittarius energy. So look, I feel like something that you have taken a chance on, something you've invested in, I feel like you're going to be celebrating with your friends because it's about to be victorious and you and your friends will get together to celebrate the fact that all these blessings are coming in. For some of you, it might just be a promotion at work. Everybody owns a business. We know that, right? Okay. Broken bridge is your challenge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem and protection from protected from negative forces beyond your control. But some of you have felt like you were not protected. You felt like a tower moment happened. Something fell apart in your life and you felt like, why am I not being protected? But I feel like whatever it was is actually a blessing. Two of Wands. Look how she's burning the past. <laughs> King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody's getting a promotion in the Five of Cups. Okay. Some of you can have an issue with your father, like the relationship with your father or a paternal figure. Stepfather, uncle, older brother, grandfather. I'm hearing somebody burned a bridge. She's burning this stuff up and we have a broken bridge. It's like something about a paternal figure. This, this could even be the father of your child. I hear somebody's not holding up the end of the bargain in a situation. But you're protected. I feel like it's their loss. Wh whatever has happened. could be a Scorpio, Cancer. I mean, Scorpio and Aries, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Protection from negative forces. Yeah, some of y'all looking toward the future here. You, I feel like you might have been trapped in a situation with someone. It could be someone you have children with here. 
you had a trauma bond with this person, whoever it was. But spirit is like like a wishbone, like pop, breaking that like nah. I still don't see what sexuality got to do with anything, except that some of you are about to meet somebody who's younger. Because it says new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways are opening up. And I definitely do feel that way. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Some of you might need somebody traveling or something. Somebody like math or science. Like, could be this person that you're meeting. That could be what they do for a living, something related to science or math. King of Wands here. Oh, you're going you to have a lot of attraction to this person. <coughs> Excuse me, the Tower. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One more card. What is outcome? Queen of Pentacles. You got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Why do I feel like some of y'all are leaving somebody you were married to? Somebody younger is about to come into your life. After a period of chaos. Things calm down. You got, you got, but this is a mature woman here. That's what I'm saying. The energy is flipping. It's like, it is possible that the younger woman is the person in the past. And maybe this older woman, because the queen of pentacles is a mature woman. Well, she's 30 and up. I mean, technically the younger woman could be 30 and up. I feel like somebody is about to help you to get your, you know how Stella got her guru back. That's what I feel. And it could come as a result of you traveling, just like she did in that movie. Even though that turned out to be a disaster, right? In real life. But Terry McMillan. Um, but a lot of attraction to this person. You got the Queen and King of Wands. You got the Queen and King of Pentacles. I definitely feel like there's some kind of choice you're going to have to make between um, two people. One is younger and one is older, Sagittarius. Which one is the best bet? Let's see. Which one does Spirit want you to choose? Should you go with this new young? Oh, that's fine. I feel like the person is younger. The world and the four of wands. Some of you are ending a marriage here. I feel like you live with someone or you have a marriage with someone. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, Scorpio, or Christ, or Taurus. You may be attracting a Leo who could be younger than you. Some of you, it might be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn who's older than you. Or they could still be younger even though they are mature, like I said. Eight of Swords, yeah. Something you felt trapped in here. <clears throat> a family dynamic, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So we got Gemini, Gemini, Virgo. Could be a Virgo that you have a family dynamic with. I tell you what, your money looks good. I feel like you're about to be having the best SEX of your life with someone who might be younger than you. Or they just might be, look, they might be younger, but they might be seasoned. So again, like I said, they're 30 and over, but they still could be younger than you. I feel a separation or divorce from someone and then somebody else is replacing that person. Because we have a new pathway and possibilities opening up. Okay. So those are your messages. This flicks. Time to us. <laughs> it's time for y'all to enjoy yourselves. All right. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe.